Hi guys, Matt Thomas here at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery in Indiana. And today I've got the huge honor of presenting a brand new Terran to you guys. This is a 2022 Tigra Moore. Now this one is, the Tigra Moore is based off of a triple O, so it does have the elongated uh, upper bout and it is 12 fret to body. Uh, and we'll get into the rest of that in just a little bit. But this one, actually features an Italian spruce top that is just absolutely so sensitive. I mean, you blow on it and the strings just start to resonate. But look at this outrageous African blackwood. Now this is one of the coolest sets that I've ever seen because it almost looks like it gets into blackwood burl on the outsides here. And I've never seen that before. Now it is got these uh, rippled maple purfling lines all the way around that kind of almost look like running water as you twist it a little bit. Um, and it does have African blackwood binding as well. So it's just got this dark menacing vibe about it. Now, as you can see, it does have an arm bevel here and it's got this um, Scottish burr elm that Rory has come up with this really cool method of hot sand fade where he actually dips it in hot sand and, and kind of 
darkens and carbons up the edges so that it looks like stain so that it transitions into the African blackwood or whatever he decides to put next to it. Um, brilliant idea. Now the rosette is also that, but the centerpiece has been radial cut and then flipped around on itself so that you get kind of this fade into dark into light. It's just really cool, really, really cool. I love the art artistry that they put into these instruments. Now, um, it does have a African blackwood bridge and also African blackwood fretboard. And as you get into the headstock here, you can see it's also got that, uh, that burr elm that's had the hot sand fade. It's also got it on the back there. And they chose to do a, a kind of a white or maple purfling underneath of it, or veneer sheet that way so that when it was carved, it's got that kind of accent into here. Now it does have a negative taper neck, so it's actually thicker up at the first fret than it is up the neck, which is interesting, but it's it's really rolled over on the side, so it's very easy to wrap your thumb or kind of get your fingers around it, even though it is a little thicker. And then he kind of transitions into a nearly flat back up here. Um, but one thing I do want to note is he creates an asymmetrical heel here. Uh, and carves harder up in here for the cutaway so that when you really transition up to here, I mean, it is, it's so easy to play all the way to the end of the, the fretboard. Now, as you can see, it is kind of odd looking. It's fan fret, but it's 25 scale length on the trebles and 25.6 on the bass. So it's just over a half inch fan, but good Lord, is it just plenty to make the bass gigantic on this guitar. Um, now, I think one of the other real responsible things for the amount of sustain and bass that it has, being that it is African Blackwood, there's something really special about these guitars that you can probably tell from here, it's not a radius back, but as I tilt it this way at you, you can see the dome that's been created, or rather barrel shape, on the back here. And when you look in this gigantic, lovely sound port, you can notice that there is compression braces on the back and it just turns this back. You might be able to tell this unreal rumble all the way through the back that happens. It's very, very active and alive. So all that bass from the top just transfers to the back and vibrates your whole chest cavity. Now, um, he did go ahead and do these gold pipes for the inlay dots, but the 12th fret actually has a unique one where he went ahead and put some, what looks like uh, a ready pink veneer in the center of those dots to really distinguish, oh, well, there's my 12th fret. But for me, I love 12th fretters, so I know that right here at the body joint, or near the left breast is going to be my 12 fret region. Now, as you get into that headstock region, it does have one of those really unique carved nuts, similar to the Samaji, but Rory's done something quite unique with it. It's a little smoother and the intonation points on it are just perfect. Uh, it's one of the most unique setup instruments uh, I've, I've ever played. Now, another thing that I noticed about this one that's quite unique, um, the way that he carved this saddle is a little different than I've seen in the past. The front half is much larger and supports the saddle, which is at a negative angle. Um, but the way they sculpted that with this gorgeous, gorgeous blackwood is just killer. Um, now, it is extra wide down here. Um, it's actually two and three eighths at the saddle and 1.77 up here or 45 millimeter at the nut width. So I kind of prefer this one. It's not super wide, but it's wide enough to increase the string spread. And the way that he carves it, it still feels like one and three fourths, but it, it gives you an extra amount of width to play it. Now, it does have 21 to 1 ratio tuners, uh, GoTo 510s, with some ebony buttons and 
the gold just goes really well with that burl or the Scottish elm. Um, but there's, I could talk about how gorgeous this thing is all day. And I, I probably will, but enough about that. This thing's absolutely perfect. Um, and, and something really unique about it that I had to stop in the middle of the song and say to Alan, that G string, I don't know if you can feel that in your room where you're at. It thuds the whole top. It's one of the most alive and personable G strings I've ever encountered. But it's just, the whole instrument's got uniqueness all the way around. In volume, it gets really, really loud. Now, even though it is a big guitar, it's 16 inches across, it does not feel like it with that kind of um, barreled back. It sits a little more back into you. And with the arm bevel, I mean, with this much, you can just grab right there. It's actually very thin where your arm comes across. So it doesn't make you push your shoulder forward. You can just sit down and play this and enjoy the sound of a big instrument, but it not feel like it. So if you have any further questions about these legendary Terrans, and in particular, this brand new Terran, make sure that you message Alan at cedarrockstudio.com. And thanks for listening.